Welcome to this demonstration video. I will show you how to use the powerful feature of scripting in the RP Fiber Power software and demonstrate how useful that is. In the introduction video you have already seen how the RP Fiber Power software can be used with the predefined interactive forms. That is a very easy method to get started, which is also used by competing products, but it obviously offers only a limited degree of flexibility. Essentially, you have to select between some limited set of predefined simulation models and diagrams. But what if you require a more complex model, for example with multiple amplifier stages? In principle, one could extend the predefined forms for such things, but they would then become more and more complicated to use, and they could still not cover anything which the user may ever need. Also, you might want to do completely different types of simulations which the developer has not anticipated in that form. For those reasons, our software offers a much more flexible way of working, the method of scripting. The basic idea is that you use a script, which is a text file containing some definitions, commands, etc., and then to execute that. Simple tasks can be accomplished with simple scripts, but you are free to realize even very sophisticated simulations and design optimizations. Now, many people might initially be concerned about the difficulty of getting started with scripts. However, our software has many nice features to make that quite easy, as I will demonstrate in the following. Although it helps to have some programming experience, you will not really need it. In many cases, you can easily start with interactive forms, as demonstrated in the previous video already. You have seen that one can simply execute the calculations to get the results, and what happens is actually the following. First, the software writes a script based on your form inputs. Thereafter, it will execute that script. That approach turns out to be highly convenient, because you can see the automatically generated script. We just go to the editor mode and find form script here. That is the script which has just been automatically generated. Our example contains a model for a simple erbium doped fiber amplifier. You would find it quite easy to understand the obtained script code. In the beginning you find various definitions based on the entered input parameters. By the way, the software also inserts various comments to make it easily understandable. At a later part, it defines the fiber amplifier by calling a few predefined functions, for example add input channel, to define a pump and a signal channel interacting with the fiber, and there is a loop which is used to define a whole array of ASE channels with wavelengths in the given range. Some further code generates a couple of numerical outputs for display in the output area on the right side, and then there is something to generate a couple of diagrams. You may then of course save such a script under a different name and develop it further from there, so you get a nice starting point for your own script instead of starting from an empty page. In other cases you may prefer to start with one of the dozens of demo scripts coming with the software. Here I have one of the more sophisticated demo scripts. That one creates a model for a chirped pulse fiber amplifier system containing a mode-locked femtosecond fiber laser, a fiber amplifier and a dispersive pulse compressor. Let us now look at some aspects of that demo script. In the beginning it defines various parameters of the mode-locked laser and for the pulse propagation grid. Later on I have defined a function called do resonator round trip, which simulates a full round trip of a pulse in the laser resonator. Essentially, it subsequently sends the pulse through all elements of the fiber ring resonator, which comprises the active fiber, two passive fibers, a saturable absorber, and an output coupler. A little further code then 
simulates repeated resonator round trips until the pulse energy and the pulse duration do not change significantly anymore. That way we find the steady state of laser operation. The intracavity pulse is then extracted through the output coupler and stored for later use. A few show commands then display some key parameters of the obtained laser pulse. Next we send the pulse through a long passive fiber, where the pulse duration is greatly increased due to chromatic dispersion. The fiber nonlinearity also somewhat modifies the pulse. After that we again store the pulse and display a few pulse parameters. Then we go through the amplifier fiber. This is a bit more tricky since the output pulse depends not only on the input pulse but also on the excitation state of the fiber. We need to find the steady state of pulse amplification by simulating repeated amplification and pumping cycles until the pulse energy does not change significantly anymore. Again we store the pulse, display some pulse parameters and finally send the pulse through a dispersive fiber compressor. We use a predefined function which automatically optimizes the chromatic dispersion, in our case considering dispersion up to the third order, to obtain the highest possible peak power. Further code generates all the diagrams. We can easily recall the stored pulses and get any of their properties displayed. I now start the script execution. It will take a couple of seconds to execute. Until then, let me remind you that the script is now simulating roughly 100 resonator round trips of the pulse in the mode locked laser in order to find its steady state. That it will then send the pulse through a long passive stretcher fiber thereafter through a fiber amplifier for which it again needs to find the steady state and finally it automatically optimizes the dispersive compressor for obtaining the maximum peak power. So you see that such a script can be used not only to define certain structures like fiber laser resonators and amplifier stages but also to implement sophisticated modeling strategies and to process the obtained data for example in order to generate tailored graphical diagrams. Meanwhile the computation has been finished and we can now see the generated results. A number of diagrams in addition to the numerical outputs which we see here on the right side. Scripts cannot only define complex simulation models. You can also process data in most flexible ways. For example, you could export data to text files or binary files or import data from such files. You could also statistically process data, for example, for examining the impact of random fabrication errors. I think that no software without such scripting capabilities could ever reach that level of flexibility. Of course, comprehensive and high-quality documentation is essential when you want to make full use of such a powerful tool. We take that very serious at RP Photonics and provide a detailed software manual. In addition, we have developed an interactive help system which is partly even more detailed than the manual. Let us have a quick look at that interactive help system. After some general information, it explains the principle of the physical models used. So you find out what effects are taken into account, what kind of inputs are needed, etc. Then there are explanations of the user interface. The longest section is the description of the indeed very powerful script language. For example, let us look at the section reference to model specific functions. Just click on, on some function here and learn in detail what it does.
in the following section you will find various tips and tricks and finally there are explanations on the dozens of demo files coming with the software. As I said, in many cases those can be a starting point for your own simulations. You can also get context-sensitive help. For example, just place the cursor on a function in the script. Let's say here, add input channel, press F2 and you easily find information on that particular function. Also you can go to the form somewhere, press F1 and get information here on the user interface here on the meaning of the fields and so on. Another very nice feature for scripting is parameter help in the editors. Just click on the parameter list of such a function and it displays what the parameters mean. So you will be quickly reminded of the parameters without having to look at the manual. You can also see the nice feature of syntax highlighting. Recognized function names are shown in blue, keywords like begin and end in bold green, comments in dark blue italic etc. that makes your scripts nicely readable. The readability of scripts actually also depends on the consistency of its formatting. Therefore, the software offers automatic reformatting of script code. As a quick demonstration, look at this not so nicely written example script here. By simply pressing Ctrl R, I get that nicely formatted, that is, with consistent indentation, use of single blanks before and after operators, etc. When developing sophisticated scripts, you may sometimes get unexpected results. In order to conveniently track down the problem, the software has got a powerful debugger, with which you can, for example, execute a script command by command and inspect the preliminary results at any point. Just click on the beginning of a line to set a breakpoint. If I now execute the script, the execution stops at the breakpoint until I decide what to do next. It is possible even to debug within mathematical expressions. Often one would define the crucial input parameters for the simulation in the beginning of the script, together with some comments to avoid any misunderstanding. However, you might actually prefer to deliver your inputs with a form, which can also display some outputs. Well, our software actually allows you to define a so-called custom form in a script for exactly that purpose, so you can combine the full flexibility of scripting with the easy and convenient handling of forms. See our introduction video or our website for more details on custom forms. So you have seen that with scripting you obtain an enormous amount of flexibility, enabling you to use this software even for most sophisticated applications in scientific research and technological development. Nevertheless, it is quite easy to get going, since the software has been optimized over many years to support you with many nice features, such as syntax highlighting, parameter help, automatic code reformatting, a powerful debugger, and of course with comprehensive high-quality documentation. Let me also emphasize that I will personally give you high-quality technical support, so you will get competent help from a top expert in the scientific field. It is even possible to get complete scripts made for you within the technical support. So this software cannot only serve as an amazing tool for the scientific guru of your team, but can also be easily handled by those who only want to work with predefined models, without going into all the details. You may take some predefined models directly from the software, for example the demo files, or you get them made by the guru in your team, or by myself within the technical support. 
Well, maybe I have now motivated you to become the modeling guru of your team yourself. You will then be the one who knows exactly how your devices are working and how they could be improved further. I can tell you that this was a crucial step for my own scientific career and I also know people in the laser industry who have acquired such a position which gives them the most interesting work together with very influential position in the team.